0.0049. Seriously? You want to play this computer game again? We're going to play this computerized game again? Huh? Let's isolate Nadine for another 16 years and, and see what happens with, when we isolate her when she's an outside person since she's been a freaking kid. Let's isolate my children. Let's isolate Nadine's kids so we can keep making money off them. You do that. I'm glad that works out for you little fucking faggots. You do that. I'm glad that works out for you. Where am I? Hi, losers. What's up? What losers are going to mess with me today? This is what I should have had on this morning. Oh, my God. It was so bad out there. I got to go. Out. I dread going out there right now. I dread it. I dread it. I dread going out there. My freaking... They didn't pick up my trash. It's probably... It's too bad for out there for them to drive, even. Uh, many prayers. I hope they're all right. Look, my trash can's blowing over. It's full to the brim from Christmas time. My husband st stuffed the box that the um, bouncer came in. So I'm teaching my kids. Did you eat your sandwich, Brandon? Did you eat your, did you eat your tuna sandwich? No. Can I have it? Yeah, it's lunch. It's been lunchtime. You should have ate already. Mark, did you eat your? You didn't eat your sandwich either, huh? It was under. It was on the right hand side. It was in there. So I haven't done anything yet today. I don't even know what to do. I'm beside myself. I was just actually listening to uh, Pastor Rick. <laughs> I, 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 probably a bad per bad mom. No, I'm not a bad mom. I, this is a kid house. But I have a basketball. My basketball net is in the in my hallway. And I'm trying to teach my son so that when it does come time, he's getting, Brennan's getting better at, at dribbling. Oh, you know what, Brennan? I got to work on your, your book report. That's what we're doing today. I'll get this book report done. All right, so I'm going to get this book report done. Brennan, get this book report done. I was trying to figure out what I was going to do today. So now, you know, get the book report done. Um, trying to figure out. I was listening to Pastor Rick and daily prayer and thanking God. And today's good. This is going to be the year. I have hate, hope, and faith. You know, I, I've I've been faithful to God for a long, long time. And and you know, yeah, I'm too religious for a lot of people. You know, I don't care. I don't care. I, I'm either too religious or 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 a hypocrite or whatever. Um, you know, I don't care. I don't care. I know who I am. I know what they did to me. I know why they did it, and um, it's only a matter of time before they actually get busted for it. So, and I just have, you know, God said be patient, you know, uh, and have patience. Just keep, keep chugging, keep chugging, keep chugging, and I'm going to keep, keep moving forward, keep moving forward. So, all right, let me, um, there's a couple things I'm going to do. Is, uh, to, this has to go in my core. Instead of um, my stuff being on the, the kitchen table, all those snacks that you always see on the kitchen table that clutters my kitchen table all the time, um, I brought, uh, I took my, um, took my desk out of here and put that there and I'll put the, the stuff in there. And I think I might redo this. this. I don't like the way it just seems so cluttered. I can't, I can't stand it. But but I'm what I'm gonna do is because this is old and I I'm wood gluing it together. Wood glue it. I guess I still 
I mean, it's all right. I, I got to screw it in. I, I need some screws put in here on the sides. I got to put a couple of screws in. But I would glue everything. <laughs> and uh, I got to put a couple of screws in. But I'm going to do that. And then what I'll do is I'll... My mom gave me a whole bag of, like, tablecloths and throwovers and doilies and stuff. So... What I'll, I'll figure out how to, what I'm going to put there. I think I could put this. Here. Yeah. I can put this here to make it look good. So that it's not too big and it'll be... Man, it's bad out there. It won't be too bad. So. Yeah. And then I have, I got a, like a little spot I can put some more stuff instead of having it. I can take, you know, my thing off the countertop and stick it under there until I need it, you know, or something like that so that my countertop. But that's not bothering me. It's not like I have company, so it don't freaking matter, you know, really what it looks like. If I had company every day, you know, if I had somebody that's, you know, important coming over, you know. But I'm so sick and tired of it, and I just don't care. I don't care. Like I said, to, I was yelling at the, the asshole microphone and the camera. Because there are no balls behind the camera since 2003, probably. So they can help learn me and steal my life. That's why they got me pregnant. <clears throat> so, they, uh, did you do an in vitro, by the way? <sighs> I just lost my train of thought. I had, like, two thoughts going on at the same time. So I was just listening to Pastor Rick from California. Mm. Oh, I was telling, yeah, I was telling the, the assholes, the camera. <laughs> yes, and I have a camera, and that's why they won't get me in a courtroom, because there's uh, quite a few of them in my house. And, um... I'm so used to being outside that, you know, when you isolate somebody who's been outside all her life, who always was playing outside or doing some type of sports activity, and then somebody go, you go into a, a, a place and, and all you do and you're isolated for so many years and you don't do anything but sit around and watch movies and stuff like that and play games. How do you think, or sit on the computer and try to find something to, to keep yourself occupied without doing in the insane? How do you think if you would feel? Hmm? So you want to keep calling me? Huh? Well, why don't you call your congressman? Yeah. So I was telling some asshole, because they want me to go get a mammogram. And when you did a mammogram, because my Aunt Mary's done my mammograms when she's retired now, but she always used to, I always went to Booth Radiology in Woodbury, which is now South Jersey. And you always lean your chest up against the, the, the camera to do that. But they won't do that because they know of how many chips they got in me and they don't want to get busted. So instead, what their excuse was that they can't get a reading because my boobs were too small. Because all they would do was squish the thing and then try to, and then, you know, to try to get a reading. You're full of shit, bitch. Some black chick, I think it was. I don't know. I don't know who it was. Somebody at, at South Jersey that know, supposedly knows my Aunt Mary. So, oh, yeah, she's funny. She's a trip. Oh, I bet she is. Peace be with us. So there was a Malando, a Malando from Lindenwall. Who checked in the same time as I did this morning. Are you here for orientation? Yes, I was. Peace be with me. Truth be told. God bless you all. Be safe out there, okay? God bless. Thank you. Amen. <laughs>